everyone, Alex Brunner with RHG Products and Tucker. We wanted to take a moment and walk you through uh, what to expect when you get uh, unbox uh, your Tucker Fill and Go. Uh, this is going to go for our single and dual users. And right now we have Travis here, and he'll uh, kind of walk you through what to, what to expect. Take it away, Travis. Hey guys. So as Alex said, uh, Tucker Fill and Go. 52 gallon tank you can kind of think of this as two halves of one system up front here you have your filtration so that is going to produce 100 pure water into a 52 gallon holding tank you hook up your tap water here you can monitor what your tap pressure is at this gauge uh, if you're running low pressure you're going to be making water at a slower rate so as you're making water you always have the option to turn on your front booster pump with this switch this is currently in flush mode, and at your after your pre-filtration, which consists of your sediment filter to catch heavy rust and particulate, your carbon filter, which will either de-chlorinate the water to protect your RO, or um, these catalytic carbon filters will remove chloramines, which your municipality may be using to disinfect the water. Uh, Here's your reverse osmosis membrane. It's gonna do about 90% of the work, the purification, and it'll also produce a waste stream. So at your RO, you will have a bypass valve to either run in a flush mode as it is now, or close that down. You can hear the boost pressure come up through the booster pump, and it's gonna start making water into the tank. After RO, you have deionization filtration, which is going to bring it down to 100% pure. So we've already made quite a bit of water into this tank, and now I'm going to show you the other half of the system, which is the delivery side. When you're done making water, and when you begin making water, every time you want to begin by flushing and then finish with flushing. That's just part of your maintenance. Now I'm ready to get water out of my tank. So on board is 200 feet of 3 8 hose per operator. So this is a single user and just one reel on a dual user, you'll get two reels. So to get water out of the tank, um, we're using a another 12 volt pump. This is a 1.4 gallon pump. It's much smaller than your booster pump. And uh, to run that pump, we have a digital flow controller. Digital flow controller does several things. One, it allows you to flow up and down, and you can think of this zero of 99 figure as a percentage of the 1.4 gallons that this will make. Now, this is gonna give me an error because we just set this up. DE, DE is part of the normal operation of this controller. And what a DE does is shuts off your pump should you close a valve at the pole. You want, you want this to happen. The pump will shut itself off by a pressure switch without the help of this controller. The controller is extending out the life of the pump by shutting it off when sufficient pressure is reached before the pump reaches its maximum pressure and shuts off by the pressure switch. Now, there is no valve closed here. This should be able to move water. It needs calibration. Uh, how much pole hose you have after your 200 feet is gonna change the calibration value internal. So there's two ways to do this, to calibrate. I can begin with a flow of 30, hold up and enter. I'll see cal. Right now the cal value is set at 22, it's too sensitive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go all the way down past cal zero to AUT, automatic calibration. You press enter. It's gonna flash C99. And now the pump is running, kind of no matter what. And you see it's moving water. So it just needed to be a little less sensitive. C24, press enter, it's set. Now, this unit will also come with a remote fob. This does several things. So besides being able to control up and down 
at the controller, you can also control with the fob. Two is up, one is down. You can also hit number four and it'll read stop. Hit number four again, flow resumes. The second way to calibrate is with the fob. Hold down the number three. It's one touch automatic calibration. And water continues to flow. Now, you can manually calibrate as well. You can only do this at the controller. So if you're running a lot of pole hose, the controller doesn't like its calibration value, you go into calibration. Now it says it's back down to C22. Now I can adjust this up. Higher is less sensitive. I could adjust it all the way up. And that'll run just about any length of pole hose that the pump will actually run. Now, you want this calibration figure to be basically as low as possible. The lower the value, the more sensitive, the sooner it, it shuts off the pump, the less load is on the pump when it shuts off. Your system will come with two filter wrenches. Which will allow you, I gotta shut off the water. It will allow you access in your filters. So here's your two and a half inch wrench for your two and a half inch filters. They develop a seal after they've been sitting for a little while. Unthread the sump. Order your new filter or you have it on hand and replace it. You don't need to use the wrench. You can just hand tighten it, it'll seal. And there's your four and a half inch wrench to gain access to your DI filter. Inside is a serviceable DI cartridge. You can, again, have this on hand, ready to go. I wouldn't recommend that you buy any DI that you cannot use within six months. It does have a shelf life. You can get this entire cartridge or you can open this cartridge from the back end and fill it with mixed bed DI resin. You can get virgin mixed uh, bed resin directly from us. You will need to purchase a battery for this system. Uh, this unit has a battery box, so it's limited in what size of battery that uh, you can install in the system. We recommend that you purchase the highest amp hour battery that you can accommodate either within the box or within the vehicle. Well, that's about it. Perfect, thank you, Travis. So if you want any more information on our fill and goes, uh, visit our website, www.tuckerusa.com or give us a call at 303-663-1779. Thank you. Let's get all this water.